history It's the place to be You're gonna get to know Restaurants and movies appear Amusement parks and ocean piers War will build and love by family Atlantic City's face A changing place Time to lead the way You want to see the old Become the new Remember yesterday Rolling chairs and Charlie cars Ferris wheels and movie stars For what built and loved by family Atlantic City My hometown My twin brother John Paul. This is the Postcard Show on channel 20, 53, different channels, different places, South Jersey Regional. WWAC. TV 53. That's right. We're on every Sunday at 2 p.m., same time, same station. We would hope you uh, call a friend, let them know we're on, tape it. Tape, tape it, it to people. Tape Nail it. it. That's what you got to do in order to preserve uh, history. You got to tape it. Get it on videotape. They last about 30 years, and then you just redo it. We're going to show glossies, postcards right. of the casino era, the phony cards that were started out in the first couple of years, and then as there became buildings and things to photograph, got better. We got those postcards right here. We're actually going to show you the uh, 70s into 78, and the referendums passed, and uh, from resorts opening right up until as far as the cards go. To that photo. To this photo, which is only a little bit old. It's on, it ties Mahal's up. That's how you date them. You see the Renaissance. This is, this is Hilton now. Right. Ocean Club. And we're going to bring you up to Dry. date on this beach right. front here. There it is. Beautiful. We want you to know that we have the postcards to show, and we can go right to the first card. Ooh, boy, let's tilt that. There it's nighttime. Listen. Resorts International Casino Hotel. There it is at night. That was the first one that got its doors open. That's where the gambling took place. I'm looking for that daytime one. And I had it right there. There, there it is. is. Here's nighttime. It and is there's daytime. daytime. So there's what it looked like. Hey, still happening. Still looks like that, really. There's Irene's building in there, Ed Devlin and uh, Debbie's place. Right, that's right in here. I can't right see there. that well. There it is. The Irene's is right there still. Now, there's Sun International owns all that right now. Sun International from bought from Merv Griffin from here all the way over to South Carolina Avenue. 
Okay, and here's the first cards they came out with. They were definitely probably photographed in Vegas with a spin saying Atlantic City. All right. If anybody's in these cards, give us a call. Anybody know any of these people? Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're having a good a time. That's a roulette. There's the slot machines. This is the postcards of the casino era, or the beginning of it, just the first 10 years of it, really. First couple years of postcards, they had to make it so right. they had something. They had to make up cards in Atlantic City, hitting the jackpot. That's right, because I think on the desk it says the El Dorado. Right. In front of that guy. You can read here with a magnifying glass, it says the El Dorado, so it wasn't here. They took a photo. And then it says, hello from Atlantic City, he's conceding of gambling. But you see them guys, they only won there. They, they think they won, right? Mm. Just for a little while. Here's the same guy. He won a little bit on that one. And he took the money and he went over to the roulette thing. That's him on the right. left there. This is him here. And yeah, he lost. He's losing now. <laughs> he's, uh, the shirt's halfway off. So. Yeah, he's had it. That's Here's the cards night. and letters flow. I told him in a little further in the lane. Atlantic City at night. Yes, sir. Here's the Howard Johnsons. The yeah. Bullwalk. And a street scene, nobody on it. What is that? In the casino. I don't know. Looks like where they had that checkered sidewalk. Where the heck was that? At? That was before you got that the resort. That was in front of the East Burn. That was, this would be Indiana and Pacific looking towards the inlet. It would be okay. East Burn. Hello. He's there throwing a dice now, again. boy. He's going for it. All right. There's different changes on different cards. Uh, we're going to put them up. I hope the people notice them. It's no longer the Playboy. All right. This is now the Trump Regency. Before that, it was empty for a while. and. Before that, it was the Atlantis, Eisenhower, and the Eisenhower, and Playboy is where it started. And there it is. This would be from Georgia to Florida to Bellevue. Here's the dipstick here at Bellevue and the Bulwark. And that's something. That was pretty wild right in there. You can see the convention hall still here, and the Shelburne was still up at this time. Okay, this isn't even the Golden Nugget anymore. All right, they're saying Golden Nugget here. It was then Bally's Bally Grand. Now it's Hilton's Grand, as I understand it. Right, Hilton took, bought all Bally's properties, and now it's being changed. They've got the names changed already to the Hilton. Any of them locals there at that beach crowd down there? It's yeah, where those guys used to jump up and stand around playing trumpets and everything? Yeah, it was pretty wild. That was pretty good. We're going to keep moving. We'll just have to move it along. All right, just throw it up there. Hey, just throw it up there any which way. Ain't no right. big whoop the world's yeah, not coming on end. Here's where you, get, you judge the old with the new. Here's where the Marlboro Blenheim used to be, which is Valley Park Place, which is now going to be Hilton. I don't know if it's going to be Hilton Park Place or not, but there. Here's the Claridge, and here's the Sands, which used to be, remember, the Brighton, the Claridge, and the Marlboro Blenheim. This is Boardwalk and Park Place right here. The funny thing is sometimes to drop a real old one in here, which we don't have already, which showed the little cottage of the Clarage and Yeah, man. Brighton. I'm a failure. All right, here's a good picture. Walking the beach. You know them two ladies there? No. Right. They're heading towards Ventnor, coming out either out of one of the piers there. Mm -hmm. Lifeguard. That's got to go on a lifeguard photo. This looks like Central Pier. Yeah, that's a good lifeguard stand thing to show it how, how it would happen. This card's good. It's got Playboys on the umbrellas. That's changed. All right, this is out front of Playboy with their umbrella here. Hold it up. You can see their beach. Everybody would put their cabanas out front. Is there a seagull flying in there? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad these trams are off the ball with my personal opinion. I'm not yeah. getting political or nothing, but uh, the trams I didn't like. This is in front of the Holiday, I mean, the Resorts International. East was, what was this, a Celebrity Deli? Is that what it was? Yes. Here's a casino entrance to go into Resorts. All right. And there's the Trop. Here's the Tropicana. Where the Ambassador was. Where, where the Ambassador, well, actually, the bath and turf was here, and the Ambassador was here. This steel here is still the Ambassador structure, superstructure. They just danced it back. They took it apart and brought it back. And here's the hot top of the Tropicana. At the time of this photograph, the Deauville, part of the Deauville was still standing here. Yeah, they dropped that. I took the boardwalk out when it went. Here's the Tropicana at night. There it is at night. That Looking at the boring. boardwalk from the beach. That's, That's right. that corner escalator there at Iowa. This is Iowa Avenue here. Right. And it goes over to Stenton and over to Brighton. Exactly where it is. Now on the other side of this also, there's even more. 
I hear before it's an amazing you piece of property. Two for it down line, though. I got to get back to that. There's the Playboy button. again. No problem. There it is. There it is. That's when it was the Playboy. Uh, is that a dipstick? Yeah, Another dip Yeah, here it was here. Uh, right in there. Right in here. Yeah, that's a Geno's. If close to yeah. this one. Remember that? They put that down. Uh, mm -hmm. There's the there. bucket of chicken thing. Oh, yeah. KFC, there. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Remember that? And the dipsticks in the hotel? Then you got inside and you had... Actually, the Playboy gave you the... Uh, that hotel gave you the really good view of the beach while you were gambling. Oh, well, that's true. I think oh. they use half that card. Isn't that half the card? I think Trump's trying to... That's half the card, right? Oh, half the card. See, they don't show you. They show you the Playboy bunny and the Playboy bunny. Here's the whole picture. Here's right? everybody at the table. All right, is that uh, Weird Al uh, Yankovic here? I don't playing know it? who it is, but these are Playboy bunnies. I remember that. Okay, here's another one. Maybe that's a better photo. Can you see any? That's at sunset. You can yeah, see that. Sunset. You can tell by the what, what, what is the word of that? Indigo. You can see Ooh. the indigo color in the lighting here. Indigo. You can see the dipstick and a bucket of chicken. Indigo. And we need another car. What do you want to see next? Here, how about that? Anything. There's the new Ocean One when it got put up there. This is from get Columbia Place in the Bork to the Ocean One. Going to get gambling on the piers, maybe. Mm -hmm. This place is going to spread out a little bit. Here's the coastline. There it is. There's the sands and the carnage and valley with no tower. Shelburne's still up. The Holiday Inn's there and the oh, I got a Playboy is still there and the Golden Nugget at the time is still down the end. Uh, Bally's Tower being built. All right. Here's the tower being erected right here. Above the health club. That's right. Here's the health club. Here's Bullock and Park Place. Here's the Holiday Inn. Here's Caesars gone in. Oh. Shelburne is still standing. That was way back. They may be out of some order, but they are what they are. Each individual postcard is exactly what it is. Here's the penthouse. Didn't you work here? It's the Holiday Inn. Yeah, it became the penthouse. Didn't you work at the Holiday Inn? Right. There's the Sky Tower in there, the elephant, the seagull, and... What's your hot dog? Here you come. Hello. The Sands. Here's the Sands, up. which is the site of the old Brighton back in the 1880s, 1890s. The Punch. Nighttime. But there's the Sands, which would be the Brighton, the Claridge, which is still the Claridge, and the Valley with no tower. Uh, there he's time, in the nighttime. That's something. How about a little Caesars well. now? Here's the Caesars at night. There's Caesars, the way it looked on Pacific Avenue. Was it? That was a pretty good one. And it was pretty well. The March of Dimes used to be held in there. It was a nice thing. Season. How about two different versions of these at night? There's, There's the, the Golden Nugget at night from uptown looking west. Yeah, or is that from the beach looking? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I just told you. Yeah, I believe From the Bullock looking west. Okay. Here's another one. What's that? The same Bullock looking west right now. The Hilton. Uh, I don't think so. That's looking oh, right yeah. at the is building. That, that's from, from Pacific the, Avenue. Right. Excuse me. Towards, towards the, the east. Pacific Avenue, looking east. Right, the corner. And this would be what? Employee uh, entrance down that way. Employees all right. get and up those motel here. people that can't stand all right. that in that street there. Right. Oh, boy. Sun and surf, yeah. Yeah, they, they don't want to hear all that, man. Uh, yeah. here's now it's not the Golden Nugget no more, and it's not the Valley Grand no more. It's, it's the Hilton, the Hilton now. now. Need that a little forward there? Yeah, there's the resorts. Hello. There you go. There's Caesars, Caesar's on the boardwalk. That front's all changed. That's all different now. Used to get great pizza at this pizza right. place to the other side here. Over here. Yeah, Roger. Oh, yeah, Roger. man, that was great. Oh, yeah, that was Caesars. That was Caesars. We're running through these uh, as we go. This is a good one, though. Another closer look at that Playboy one. Yeah, Playboy. The people out front. All right. How about Harris? You like Harris? There's Harris by the Bay, the other Atlantic City yeah. they were calling it at the time. When the boats show up. I right, that was pretty wild. Remember that? Yep. Oh, here you go. This is a better picture of that Caesars thing. And there's the Caesars front. Right. Pretty good, eh? Right. How about uh, that? I hope they had that at Albany Avenue. Was many Albany years. Avenue on the beach, you're right. Isn't that something? I can't rush myself, fella. I'll tell you. Take your time now. You be there patient. Where's the, uh, well, the, there the it sky is. Sky Tower should be in this one. There yeah. it is right there, Sky yeah. Tower. No problem. Hard sign. That became Schiff's Pier, right? Yeah, they still own that. And there's that, the Mayflower. That pink side of that building. Right, that was there. The Vienna Restaurant was just below it at St. James. They New put York. the motel on that. Right. Look at that sunset. Oh. Atlantic City. No, wow. People go all the way to the Caribbean to see something like that, suckers. 
Hey, Till, chill out. There's a whole, all over from Atlantic City, the Tropicana. That's wild, right oh, here. The main casino floor is right on the site of the Turf and Bath Casino that was illegally here for about 50 or 60 years. Nobody did nothing right about behind it. Behind the Nashua restaurant and right. the swimming pool, the ambassador was placed there. There it is. And that's it's like old times. This would be Captain Young's Hotel and Young's Pier, which as years went by, it became the Mayflower. Yes. And Central Pier. Oh, this yeah. is the blow up looking east. Couple. This is here, the steeplechase and the steel pier. You can see those two there. There's that train. Where was yeah. the hotel New Belmont? Unbelievable. The Mayflower front. Remember how yeah. miniature the lobby was in that place? There's Blue Walk and Park Place again. Bicycles. Bicycles. There's that them. tram again. I can't stand it. Well, this shot is amazing, whether you know it or not. There's where the old million dollar pier lay, which is now the Ocean One. Captain Young's place, if you remember past shows, was probably right about out this far. And there it is, done new. Is there anything wrong with that photograph? What do you think? Is there anything wrong with that? Uh, was it an artist thing or something? Well, I don't know if you can get a full That's moon that far to the right, but well, I guess so, if it goes overnight. Once in a while, at certain times, that mm -hmm. full moon will be behind the island looking uh, down in the west, yes. Yeah? But very rarely. Now, I've caught one of these moons come up almost the size of the whole ocean out there. Oh, really? Yeah. Really, yeah. really unbelievably unnatural and eerie. You look off the bulwark and the moon would be as wide as the Atlantic Ocean. It was really the strangest thing you'd ever seen in your life. Yeah, real well, life. Well, I know what we can do now. We can go to some uh, Miss America cards. I have a few Miss America cards. As we all know, they always here on the beach doing photographs. Yeah, there they are. Is any one of them, Mom? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people there. You can read some of the names. Yeah. It doesn't appear... Uh, it's a Miss America thing, right? Yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, they're states, so they're not. They're, they're Miss America thing. I don't uh -huh. know how many are. I never counted all the girls. One, two, three, no, 50. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's probably 50 girls there. Yeah, man. Well, well somewhere. You know what they did? They used to come down to Bulwark. It's the Bulwark like Parade. Parade. Garden Pier, don't they? This appears to be the uptown side, downtown side of the Garden Pier as they came right off of uh, like start. Massachusetts, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Delaware, right there, coming right around. These were the floats that the girls rode down the boardwalk on. Now, this looks like California in the boardwalk, right where Max Restaurant was. Is that the corner of Max Restaurant there? I really can't tell. It says something, but uh, I don't have my magnifying glass, but it was Miss America. What Miss America was it? I don't know. Would you assume that... It's like uh, actually 1964 or something. I can't tell what that is, and it wouldn't be going this way to be that way. Now, we got this photograph coming up, and it says on, on the back, it says Jerry, Jordy Ann, Edith, Mike, and Bill. But I think that's all women on there. All right. That's the Miss America Pageant Parade Committee. And if these people are out there watching, there's no date on it. But they have to be local people, right? Yeah, to get on that. Well, now, usually the local people were excluded from all this high pollutants. What were they called? Them? Sophisticated snobs wouldn't even let you go near this area. Hey. Well, you were, if you were local, you were excluded, and the same thing goes on today. Sorry, but I believe it to be true, and I think a lot of local people also know that it is true. But that's okay. But that's okay. Now, I can tell by these, because I remember as a kid, these here, this is right out, this is probably taken off the porch of the uh, Blenheim. Okay. This was at Ohio, these type of things were done at Ohio Avenue on the beach in front of the Marlboro Blenheim. Now, we need your indulgence. Yeah. I'll tell you who they are. Okay. Don't know the year, though. Does it say what year? Well, we can't tell you exactly what year, but there's Miss America. Who's yeah. that? A little lower there. Who is that? I don't know. Here's 62 would be Maria Beale Fletcher, 1962. Miss America Fletcher? Yep. Okay. All right. 1963. You got to collect this whole set if you're a postcard collector. 1963, Donna Axum. Donna right? Axum. All right. Oh, wait a minute. This is not easy to wait do. Minute. That's all right. We're going to do it, though. Jacqueline Meyer. Jacqueline was 63. Meyer. 63. 64, Donna Axum. Donna Axum. Throw it in there. Nine, this was a pretty girl here. Uh, this was uh, Debbie Bryant, 1966. This year's pretty, huh? Yeah. 
about 1967 Jane Ann Giroux. Mm -hmm. Doesn't ring a bell. These well, I remember in 67, they run this Vermont out of the pageant because she said uh, something. Yeah, how long it was well, whatever. Deborah Barnes, 1968. Pretty. Yeah. You know the trick, remember, as soon as Miss America was chosen, bingo, her picture was on the front page of every pa uh, paper in the world. Big debt. And uh, we found out how they did it, right? How about Judith Ford? No, I don't remember. Judith Ford. 1969. All right. Here's wild? 1971. Phyllis George. Phyllis George out there. What, didn't she commentate on yeah. football? And all? Yeah. Sports okay. commentator and wife of a Kentucky governor. Oh, yeah, that's right. Miss America, 1971. Here's 72. Laura Lee Schaefer. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Remember her. She, she had a miracle. Like that, did she? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I found out how they had the picture of Miss America on the front page of every newspaper the minute she was crowned. During the week, when the people in the public didn't know about it, every Miss America, during the evening gown competitions of their particular night of evening right. gown, they would put the Miss America crown on them and take their picture and send every newspaper in the world all 50 pictures. Then when she won, they would just call them and say, that's the one, and they would, and bingo. Hello. It's a pretty neat trick, man. Atlantic City figured that out. How about 1974, Rebecca Ann King? There's Rebecca King. Hey, she's in there. Yeah. Pretty. Always was looking for Miss America, I just never found her. <laughs> Everyone I ever chose to be Miss America never got picked. 75. Yes. Shirley Coffin. Shirley Coffin, 75. There she is. 70. Miss America. Oh, yeah. There she is. Oh, Miss America. Walking on air, she is. Well, you got Ebonics now. There she be. Oh, no. no, no, no. Twana Godin, 1976, Miss New York, I think she was, newscaster, California. Right. I don't know too much about it, but I do follow a little bit. 1977, this was the one I wanted to win that year, mm. Dorothy Benham. Yes, Came back to Atlantic City a lot, she does. That's right. Nice lady. Here's 1978, Susan Perkins. She was cute. Susan Perkins. Yeah, I remember her. She's I like Perkins. the way you're holding that. It looks great on that screen. That wow. All right, come on. Uh, Kylene Baker, 1979. She was a Miss Virginia. She was cute, but hey. I don't remember all of them. I remember going through all the years, but I don't remember all that. Forget quick, right? Yeah. Cheryl Pruitt, Miss Mississippi, became Miss America 1980. Hmm. This is how you collect postcards. You can get every year. I got a pretty good stint here. Hmm. Here's Susan Powell, 1981. Now we have to get more Miss Americas. Who's that? Spread them out a little bit. Or who's that? Who's that? That's uh, we showed her already. It was a duplicate. You can get duplicates. I can't do it. It's too slippery. Schaefer, but too it looks slippery. great. Looks great. Yeah. So uh, what, what, if we have a few minutes left in this particular show, what would you like to do? Well, we can discuss the fact that the Boardwalk Parade, as you can see here, was held in the daytime. At times, that was during the 60s. And then at other times, it was held at night. Well, also was on Tuesday nights and has now been moved to Friday night. Well, we used to we used to watch the parade. Immediately the next day, you had to be back in school. Now it's September the 15th. It used to be right after Labor Day, and then Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday they crowned the queen. Now they go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They have the parade on the Friday night. And then they crown Miss America always on a Saturday night. You know what the big thing midnight. was? Remember the guy crashed it? Walked right out onto the TV, on the stage yeah, at Convention that. Hall, right through the thing? I remember that at one time or another. Well, we've done a lot today. We are out of Miss America's, but the Miss America pageant's still here in Atlantic City, and no matter what Roger Gross says in the Casino Journal, I believe the Miss America pageant should stay in Atlantic City and probably will. That's an old picture. You want to show that? Uh, I don't want to show that yet. I want to see what it is. Though, yeah. And we want the Miss America pageant to stay here forever, as it probably will. And uh, things can only get better. Yeah, we like Miss America, and it should happen forever here. Now, people have told me, now, if you notice, sometimes when they start the Miss America pageant, yep. they would... Uh, Show you Main Avenue and show Miss Maine. Show you Vermont Avenue and show you Miss Vermont. Show you Rhode Island Avenue and come across the front of Atlantic City with a helicopter ride and uh, show you Miss America's like that. 
But what's this on the screen here, Jeff? I just put it up there. It's a picture of the surf with a, a pier at the end. It's just a few things at the end. Mm -hmm. We uh, do this every week. Well, listen to what someone told me. Atlantic City is 48 streets because there were 48 states. The United States Hotel was at uh, Maryland and Atlantic between Delaware and Connecticut. And their property started on Delaware Avenue because the way they played it was that Delaware was the first state. And the way the city got put together north of Virginia, east of Virginia Avenue was the original 13 colonies that were listed out there. If you notice, it went Delaware, going towards the east, Delaware, what, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, you know, right there, the original 13 colonies, including Maryland and Virginia, were pieced out up in that particular piece of Atlantic City. And they had the United States Hotel, and each street was named after the original 13 colonies. And that's the way they did it. We're showing pictures of pictures. lobbies and interiors. I wonder if this guy, you weren't allowed on the beach at night. So he was down there. All right, and it actually says serving spoons souvenir spoons from Atlantic City. Yeah. I guess they, this card went with it in a package. It's possible. Nice. Different show how the side streets look with old oh, hotels. different hotels and all. They had these old, very, very large wooden structures with their porches. See, the porches were up. How about the Bosco Bell? There's the Bosco Bell. Where's that on Kentucky Island? Yeah. yeah. The Hotel Healy. A little mm -hmm. bit of that. A little bit of this. What's that one? Iroquois. Where was that at? The Iroquois. I don't know. They, may, they have an Iroquois Avenue. In, uh, How about this one? Nice, nice, nice. Right. Here was the gambling casinos back in here. That was the tricky thing, you see. People got a kick out of that last show. Here's where the casinos were back yeah. here. Even in the 1840s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. You couldn't get to this piece of the hotel unless you you had to know somebody. You're not coming in the front door, which was all the way around on the other Absolutely. side of the street, and get back here to interfere with anything that was going on. And the lawns were massive, and Bullock and Park Ridge was like six square blocks of just lawns. I bumped into a few people out there that said they caught that show about the gambling. Bump a few more of these? Uh, I don't have any more. That's What's about it. Time must be down. That's inside some sort of convention center thing. That's a million dollar pier. Oh, is that what it's it is? inside the arena. It's a horse show inside the million dollar pier. Hello. Oh, well. Right. That's about it. Show that pretty moon one. Nah, I don't I like, like those that. full moon pictures. It reminds me of Tom, uh, who's the guy that did the first werewolf? What do you keep pointing at over Tom here? Tom Miscellaneous. There's no Miscellaneous. No miscellaneous no. No. That's it. Okay, so let's come back to us. Hey, engineer we'll man. Tell hey. people. How much time we have? We got about two minutes. Two All minutes right. to go. We do it again. Keep tuning in. We do it every Sunday at 2. And we're even going to get older. We're going to go back in the future shows oh, yeah. and show you photographs, actual photographs of Atlantic City before there was even a boardwalk. <laughs> Hello. It's pretty wild when you see it, and you'll see how the city's boardwalk, the city, the sides came down to when you were going to the beach, the two pieces came together, and one piece went into the to the beach, took it to the beach. That's teasing. That was it. And uh, we'll, we'll show you all the old stuff of how they did the ramping, how the boardwalk stopped at each street end. And the boardwalk didn't run continuous. It was just in between the blocks only, and the street ends were public and couldn't be built across until they actually gave themselves well, permission. Well, you and I believe that there were two other piers that nobody ever talks about. Right. The Japanese restaurant pier around Indiana and the boardwalk. All right. And this one I have right here, which I'm not showing this week. Well, we'll give him a teaser. No, the engineer ain't going back for the shot. Oh, you want to go, go back? back? Okay, the here's the George Avenue Pier. Check that out on the close of this show. Side a million dollar pier facing Mississippi Avenue. Here would be Missis Columbia, Mississippi. Here's the Georgia Avenue Pier. Right there. Big you two buildings it. or something. Right like here that. from the other side of that pier down is where Rendezvous Park and Convention Hall got put in. But there's the pier at Georgia. They call it the Georgia Avenue Pier. There this it is. This is where the Rendezvous mm -hmm. Pier was. Uh, Parkland, right? This towards the I've town. studied it. You're going to be okay. wrong again. I All can right. tell you. Dueling pointers that this pavilion here and this pier are before Mississippi Avenue. Okay. There I, you go. I don't know. We have discussions to find out things. Give us a call. Watch the show. Have debates amongst yourselves.
New York has its lady San Francisco the bay Paris has its tower London its queen The town I was born in might change from old to new That's something I must tell you I've got sand in my shoes I'll never leave Atlantic City I'll never go Too far away I'll never leave Atlantic City On the boardwalk, the song People come every day Take in the sun air Walk on its beaches Might ride in rolling chairs When they look at the brand new Think of the old days Things they used to do Atlantic City my own town I won't forget Atlantic City I'll never leave and go